In this video, I'll show you how to describe the relationship between two continuous variables using pairwise correlations. Correlations summarize the linear relationship between two continuous variables. You can get correlations by using the command pwcor for pairwise correlations. Correlations describe the relationship between two continuous variables on a minus one to plus one scale. When a correlation is negative, it means that as the value of one variable goes up, the other one goes down. Positive correlations mean that as the value of one variable goes up, the other one goes up. The closer a relationship is to zero, the less related the two are. Changes in one variable do not appear to correspond to changes in the other. It can be hard to make correlations concrete so here's some real-world examples. This is an example of a strong negative relationship. It describes the relationship between countries birth rates and the prevalence of contraceptive use among the female population of childbearing age. This is a strong negative relationship. The higher the birth rate the lower the contraceptive use and the higher the contraceptive use the lower the birth rate. The graph exhibits a pretty strong looking relationship and it's reflected in a stronger negative correlation. This is an example of a pairwise correlation that's weak. It's close to zero. It shows the relationship between poverty and the murder rate. As the graph suggests, countries with high murder rates can have a lot of poverty or not much and countries with low murder rates can have a lot of poverty or not much. This is an example of a positive relationship with a pairwise correlation that's 0.82. It's close to plus one. It shows the relationship between countries GDP per capita and the number of internet users per hundred people. The variable is strongly correlated. Really poor countries tend not to have many internet users and richer ones have a lot of them. We use the pwcore command to get pairwise correlations. The syntax is pwcore and then a list of variables separated by spaces. This command will get you the pairwise correlation between three variables, GDP per capita, life expectancy, and internet users. The results suggest that there's a reasonably strong positive correlation between all three variables. As an economy, tends to get richer, it tends to have longer lifespans and more internet use. Likewise, it suggests that internet use and lifespans are positively related. There are at least two options you can use with the pwcore command. The option OBS is for observations. It asks data to report how many observations were used in calculating the pairwise correlation. This is useful because sometimes we don't realize that we're making inferences about correlations based on really small sample sizes. It's always good to run it with the OBS option once. This is an example of what it looks like when we use the OBS option. It shows that these pairwise correlations are calculated between 171 and 188 observations. The SIG command asks data to give the results of a significance test the correlation is non-zero. When you use this command, you're looking for a significance score that's less than 0.05. In this case, all of these relationships score below 0.05, suggesting that they are all significant. This means that we predict there's a high likelihood that all of these variables have non-zero relationships. Let's review. Correlations describe the relationship between two continuous variables. To get pairwise correlations, we use the command pwcore and the list of variables that we want to have correlated. The option obs will ask data to report the number of observations upon which our correlation estimates are based. And sig will ask data to perform a significance test to determine whether or not we have good evidence that two variables have a non-zero pairwise correlation. For more information on this command,
type help pwcore in the Stata command window.